All right, girls, so the purpose of this lecture is to help you pick a topic for your original oratory for this year. And you can see that there's a lot of um, topics listed on this first PowerPoint slide. You might want to pause it and take a look at them. You'll notice that they all start with, we need to. And that's really a, a crucial part of your oratory is that it talks about what we all need to do. It's not about certain groups of people. When you include yourself in that problem, it helps not to alienate your audience and it makes it seem like it's a problem for everybody. So there's a difference between a topic and a problem statement and I use the word topic but really what we're looking for is a problem statement. Most likely however you'll start off with a topic. So a topic might be something like first impressions um, and that's fine for now but what we'll work on for next week is turning that topic into a problem. So with that idea of first impressions, the problem is we shallowly determine the value of others based on first impressions using stereotypes and snap judgments to make our assessments. So instead of just telling me that first impressions are a problem, the problem statement explains why and it makes an argument about all of us. Same thing with the second example. It's the same topic, but a different problem. We need to realize that our likability will get us far in life, and thus we should focus on making good impressions on others. So you can see, you can take a single topic and spin it two ways. One is that it's a good topic, and the other one is that it's uh, bad for all of us. So making a good problem statement, you have to ask yourself a couple questions. Is it valid? Does it have relevance? Is it developable? And does it have significance? So it has to be a real problem that exists, it needs to attain to everyone in our or pertain to everyone in our society, not just to you as a teenager, not just to me as an adult, but everybody. It should be something that you can actually conduct research on, and it should also be something that other people is ag agree is a problem. So we have a cute little name for that. It's called Universal. It's a problem that you care about, um, that you're passionate about, but it also ha is universal. It has mass appeal. I can't stress to you enough how important it is for you to pick a topic that you think is really important to your life because that passion is something that you can't fake. Also, original oratory is a really unique and like unbelievable experience because you actually have the opportunity to stand up and talk to somebody uninterrupted for 10 minutes about something that you think is so important that we should all change it. So again, please choose a topic that you really care passionately about. You want it to be a topic that appeals to the emotions. You want it to be a topic that can be funny. You want it to avoid being too specific and concrete. Um, but you want it to be something that you can still tell personal stories and examples about. And those, those or a few of those anyway, can be stories about your life. Um, I do want to give you the caveat, though, that nothing is original. Every good topic has been um, spoken about before. And you can see the repetition here amongst the winners. Forgiveness, gratitude, friendship, gender roles, imagination, stereotypes. Those might all be things that you're thinking about. So rather than worrying about is your topic original, what you're going to do is change it into uh, a new way to talk about the topic. So one idea is you can rename the cliche. So instead of just saying be an individual, Alexandra Elam said, we have lost our soul power. We need to vary the beat to our own music. And you can see she uses this metaphor of music to talk about her topic. Uh, Tram Hong, or Traman Hong, talks about the same thing, be an individual. Oops, excuse me. But she says, we live our lives like robots, unable to break free of our mental confinement. So finding a problem, dig deeper. Um, think about the causes to what irritates you. Trace it back to its origins. Um, ask yourself why. You can turn the phrase so you can take an accepted idea, an axiom or a cliche, and argue for its opposite. So instead of saying many things are not worth doing well, um, you could say always do your best, and uh, or always do your best is a really common cliche, right? And you could argue that we should not always do our, our best. You could also say nice guys finish first put all your eggs in one basket, strike while the iron is cold, so you just take the cliche and you flip it. You want to read. <laughs> it's going to help you find a topic. Um, 
So at this point, I think you guys have a lot of good stuff to work with. Again, please take a look at the novice list and feel free to go back through this PowerPoint. It's on our website as well. Thanks, guys.